Hier achter mij natuurlijk het bekende gebouw, de fabriek van Red Bull hier in Milton Keynes, Engeland. Het is frisjes vandaag, dus we gaan gauw naar binnen, want we hebben een gesprek met Christian Horner, de teambaas van het Red Bull team. Christian, thanks for talking to us at uh, Autogek TV. Uh, tell us about the pre-season preparation. Well, in any off-season, it always has its moments and pressures and demands, but uh, yeah, we're like a, a swan on the surface and paddling furiously underneath, but that's the same as as any uh, any any pre-season, but uh, generally pretty much on target. And of course, uh, uh, the most important question we want to ask you is, uh, what are your expectations for the whole season 2017? Well, we went into the winter on a, on a, on a real high and, um, you know, momentum definitely built during the course of last year. We developed the car well, we raced well, strategically we were strong. It's a, also a clean sheet of paper and that for any designer, engineer, is a really exciting challenge. You know, a few years ago, 2009, there was a double diffuser. Is there a, a gizmo like that, that that we've missed that somebody else has found? Hopefully, hopefully not and hopefully we'll be competitive. What do you expect from the new power unit? It's a brand new engine for this year, change of philosophy. They've had a big winter. Um, we're hoping for a step in performance. Um, and uh, if that's delivered, then hopefully we can really be a challenger team, you know, this year and, and give the Mercedes and the Ferraris uh, a hard time. Can Red Bull challenge Mercedes and Ferrari this year? Mercedes for sure is the you know, they're the world champions, triple world champions, they're the team to beat. Um, and, uh, you know, they set the bar pretty high, but that, that's what we're aspiring to. Hopefully, you know, we can be a real challenger team. I think the driver lineup we have is fantastic. We've had great stability in the team um, and we're excited about the year ahead. What about your driver lineup? We've probably got absolutely the most exciting driver pairing on the grid. And you know it's so exciting to see the you know development and, and the evolution of, of Max Verstappen. You know just as he's growing in experience and confidence and an age at the heady age of 19 this year. And Daniel Ricciardo, for me, was the driver of the year last year. He he put in some phenomenal performances right at the top of his game. His confidence is high. So I think the dynamics between the two drivers is great. They're going to push each other incredibly hard, which is great from a team team perspective and uh, I couldn't wish for you know two better more motivated um, you know drivers in our cars. What are the strengths of Max and Daniel? Well the main strengths of Max and Daniel well hopefully this year is their neck because it's going to be a lot more g-force this year but um, they're both ferocious racers they're both their racecraft on a Sunday afternoon I don't think there's any drivers out there that are better overtakers than, than our two guys. Um, uh, tremendously dedicated, enjoying what they do. They love what they do. You can see they really revel in being, you know, Grand Prix drivers. And, uh, you know, they're having fun along the way. Um, there's sort of a big brother, little brother mentality going on. They live in the same apartment block. It's a great pairing for us to have, you know, in our lineup. What do you expect from the new regulations? Well, the rules are a bit different for this year. The cars are going to look different. They're more aggressive looking. They're wider, bigger tires, more downforce, more aerodynamics. And so I think the cars are going to look great. They're going to be four or five seconds a lap quicker. Um, they're going to be a bigger physical challenge for the, for the drivers, for, for sure. And how that impacts the racing is going to be fascinating to see. I think that, you know, this, we're set for some fascinating Grand Prix this year and we're for sure going to see a difference, um, you know, in, in, in pecking order of the drivers because these cars are really going to stretch their abilities. The RB13, how is it going to look like? I think RB13 is one of the, the prettiest cars that we've uh, designed and made because the, the geometry of the car under these new regulations, the proportions look right. It looks mean, it looks fast. It's that old adage, if it looks right, it tends to go all right and this car for sure looks right. How is the atmosphere within the factory? 
I think in the factory there's a real air of excitement. You know, it's been a few months off that we've not been at the racetrack. You can see people are itching to get going again. New car, new rules. Um, it's going to be, uh, you know, an exciting countdown to the first race in, in Melbourne. We've got two tests in Barcelona, um, four days for each driver. So it's not a lot of seat time that they're going to get in the RB13. But uh, there's a real anticipation and buzz around the factory that is, that is building and building. What is the ethos of Red Bull towards the changing Formula One? Red Bull's ethos towards Formula One has always been about, you know, Formula One is a sport, foremost and utmost, and in a sport it needs to entertain, has to be entertaining. It's got to be man and machine at the absolute limit. And uh, I think perhaps we need to think a little less about technology and a little bit more about ultimate chariot racing that Formula One should be. And I think there's a great opportunity moving forward to really address some of those points, to bring the noise back into Formula One, turn the volume up. You know, the cars are looking great this year. It would be fantastic if they, they sounded a bit uh, louder as well. You know, make the drivers the stars and the heroes that they should be. Give more access um, to those drivers and personalities that exist within Formula One. I think they're the core elements that need to be focused on. Are you looking forward to testing the new car in Barcelona? It's always an, an, uh, you know, an anxious moment before the car runs for the first time for it to drive out of the garage down the pit lane. First thing you want to see is it comes back at the end of the lap. Um, but uh, it's an exciting moment to see the car break cover and, and of course the testing people get sucked into who's doing what times, which fuel loads, who's doing what race runs etc etc. It's all irrelevant. In, in reality, you've got to focus on your own program, put the blinkers on, get through your program of work, the developments that you want to look at, because it's all going to change by the time you get to Melbourne anyway. Um, so it's, it's interesting to see the buzz and the tension that, that um, surrounds those tests, but we've become pretty good here over the last few winters of just focusing on ourselves and our own program. Okay, Christian, again, thanks for talking to us. And our final question is, what excites you the most about the 2017 season? You know, what excites us most about 2017 is, is the opportunities that arise from these new regulations. It's going to be fascinating to see who's got it right, who's got it wrong. And of course, then it's going to be a development race all the way from Melbourne to Abu Dhabi. And you'll see big increments early on because the regulations are pretty immature, I think that there is going to be low hanging fruit early on to make you know, sizable steps and that's, that's going to be fascinating and that's going to push every department in the whole team to try and out, outwit, outsmart, outdevelop, outproduce our rivals and that's going to be a, a stellar challenge in Formula One this year.